What happened to you? Oh, uh, Stain. What? Stain happened to, to me. You see, I followed him into the dark woods and which, yeah, I pretty much had him right where I wanted him. Excuse me? Yes! I wrapped myself in black whip in which I turned part of it into a sword and me and Stain went on a full on sword fight. Of course we missed punches and kicks and everything and when she was super cool and everything. But <sighs> sooner or later uh, the real gap in our experience started to shine through, so I really had to overexert Black Whip a little bit more, especially with my other quirk, you know. That doesn't explain the cuts. If Black Whip was covered in, covering you, it's just... Like I said, I had to overexert myself sooner or later. Black Whip started to slowly recede back, so I had to be even more cautious, and even more, uh, you could say, yeah, precise. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I don't get it. He was... It wasn't like he was really trying to kill me. It was more like he was stalling or something. Before I knew it, there was a splash bang in which he was gone. Oh. Wait, but how come no one else is talking about all these cuts? Oh, that's easy. Black Whip. Excuse me? I'll show you. And yes, Izuku used Black Whip to pretty much sew the cuts back together. Midnight she is of course wow that is very useful, but also like you should probably see a doctor. Cause there's cuts on his cheek, on his arms, legs, hell, his throat and as well as his stomach. But Izuku just like, no, I'd rather not. It was hard enough concentrating enough so these wouldn't come undone, but right now I'm healing. How? My quirk. It's an enhancement type. I just need to focus on what I'm enhancing. Really? Yep, really comes in handy. Huh. Can you enhance anything else? Oh, yeah, you mean like my ears, my sense of smell, or... Not exactly. Her getting ever so closer to Izuku, him being kind of nervous. Like, um, uh... Midnight, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just trying to get closer to you. Yes, Izuku is slowly scooting back while Midnight is about to jump his ass. Eri shows up and saves Izuku. Izuku silently praising Eri for her timing. Midnight is like, I have to teach that kid how to knock. <sighs> so, he fought Stain, he got away. Yeah. Hmm. Funny. Anything else? Um, no, not really. If anything, I was wondering what the hell's going on. Hmm. With the League of Villains. Yeah, you said you cut off that one finger or something. 
Yeah, yeah. You just got my nerves. Uh huh. If you call that getting on your nerves, wow. So, what are you going to do today? I don't really have any plans. I don't think so. So, you have nothing to do today? No, I don't think so. If anything, I just want to relax. Hmm. Okay. So, what precisely would you like to do to relax? Don't know. I could spend some time with Aerie and you, but you're probably tired from your work. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, <laughs> I'm good. I, uh, I'm good. I have all the time in the world right now. You sure? Of course, of course. There's no issue whatsoever. Oh, um, oh. In that case, uh, great. So, what do you wanna? I may have an idea or two. As you can imagine, he's a goo. But she really wants to, for lack of a better word, find out what Stain is playing with the League of Villains. Family comes first. And Ari, she needs to be able to at least crack a smile. So what they do, they go to the beach together. And though Eri doesn't know how to swim, Izuku, being the big brother ex dad type, he's more happy to teach her. Midnight, of course, getting a few looks, and also Izuku being like, I don't like that. But he knows that Midnight is doing it on purpose. What makes it even better is the fact that Izuku is getting a few uh, looks himself. You see, Izuku has trained a lot more when it comes to building up his body as well as now being able to utilize more than just one quirk. Uh, though his muscles have been heavily strained, they heal a lot faster. Even without recovery girl stepping in to save his arms, legs, or anything. And plus, the ones he couldn't fully heal became into some of the most awesome scars. And seeing that Izuku would be so protective of Eri mixed in with the fact that he's like a big teddy bear, but still a bear, in all seriousness. Yeah, he's getting some, some uh, sideway glasses too. But he's not doing it on purpose. So when any females do start uh, getting him some attention... He doesn't pick up on uh, the flirting. Midnight, of course, you know, her advanced station. She does understand. She just really, really doesn't like it. To a point where Izuku going for snow cones. Aries' mission is to make sure no one gets too close to dad. That is Aries' mission the whole time. Make sure no, none of these vultures try to get close to your father. You do this and you can have as much ice cream and candy as you want when we get home. 
despite what Dad says. And yes, Ari tries her hardest to make sure no uh, female attention goes Izuku's way. Only thing is, Izuku is being too nice to everyone that Ari okay, I don't know who's going to try to flirt with him or who's just trying to be nice. So, a few slip, slip through uh, the, the few cracks. But, Araka is definitely one of them. By this time, yes, Araka knows Eri. And Eri sees Araka as not a vulture or anything, just as a someone who goes to school with her father. So, where's, uh, <clears throat> Midnight? Ugh. What's wrong? She's over there. It's alright, she's Midnight just signing autographs for both men and women, kids alike. You can imagine, she sees this as a chance. The only thing is... Eri is there, so let's see, how far can I really get with this kid being the third wheel? Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Get the kid on my side. Get a few people thinking I'm possibly her. Just fantasizing about Izuku and her having a kid. She blushes and starts flowing away. Izuku wondering, wait, are you alright? Eri just... She's thinking something naughty, isn't she? Uh, no, no. I'm just... It's just a hot out here, that's all. It's no big deal. Right. Mom told me about women like you. You're a vulture. Uh, no! No, 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 of course, of course not. I'm just, um, enthusiastic about being a hero. Izuku. Mm, okay. Fine. I will trust you for now. Oraka knowing that her cover has not been blown, as well as Eri is uh, getting suspicious. Again, midnight, she is happily teasing Izuku with the attention she's getting, while also preventing him from getting any real attention. As she turns her head and sees that Oraka is there, where is Eri? Seeing that Eri is laughing with them. Pretty much using her suggested family time as a way to, to get Izuku. And how does Izuku really uh, approach this? Let's see, he's a dense anime protagonist, so there's are you just going to see this as Huh, a, a friend of mine is here just to hang out with us. That's all he sees. And, for the most part, Izuku does notice the swimsuit that Oraka is wearing. The only thing is, he's like, okay, that school swimsuit seems... A little cramped, don't you think? This is Oraka, seeing a chance, strikes a pose. Pretty much trying to get any kind of reaction out of Izuku. Luckily for him, he has a good poker face for being a vigilante and, you know, lying about it for so long. Unfortunately for him, though his uh, mind. And face is telling Oraka that, huh, cool. 
his body and his third leg are pretty much saying, oh, I want that. Yes, as you imagine, Oraka at midnight noticed this. Eri, God bless her soul, does not. So, when Oraka, as you can imagine, does point this out, Izuku is embarrassed. As he tries to cover himself, he also shows a blay nose. Oraka, she turns out the heat, and <laughs> Midnight, she could melt concrete with the sheer flaming aura that is surrounding her. Yeah, and Izuku, none the wiser. Eri, she is confused to an extent, but also, hey, didn't Mom say something about this? Oh, now I remember. Look at Oraka, then shielding Izuku's eyes via trying to poke them out. Izuku cries in pain. Oraka wonders, why did you do that? Eri, you're trying to do this my father. How do you know what that word means? Mama taught me. How did I not account for this? <sighs> of course not! We're just classmates. I want his opinion on my swimsuit. That's all I want. You promise? Of course. Besides, if I was trying to take your father away, we I would take you with us. What? But what about... Uh, Mom and Narumi. Mm, we have to talk about that, whether she's involved, you, you know? What? But she helped save me. So you really don't want to leave her behind, huh? No. I do not. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, very, very interesting. Okay, how about this? Uh, two moms are better than one, aren't they? What? Uh, Oraga, what are you doing? Shh, this does not concern you. Us. Don't worry. I'm talking to a child, not you. I, I feel like my opinion matters here. That's debatable. All I need to do is get the child on my side. I already have you wrapped around my finger. Ah. Excuse me. But who, who are you to have the audacity to say such things? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. As yes, she takes every away, and Izuku is staying there dumbfounded. The only thing is, he does get more attention once he realizes, oh wait, I'm still standing at attention, aren't I? Realizing that, yeah, he's getting a few more stares than usual. Not only with the kid gone, but also that eye candy, which is Oraka, being uh, gone as well. And yeah, you can imagine, Izuku is hella embarrassed. Now, let's cut back to midnight in which she's really contemplating, should I kill a child right now? Should I... Is there a reason for me to have to want to cause harm towards a teenager? Part of me wants to say no. 
Bernard part of me saying he's really starting to push my kindness as well as his little classmate yeah, I don't know what to really do here but one thing for certain I really want to hurt someone And yes, you can imagine. She hears something. She hears people crying for help. Her being still a hero, though she's not on duty, she does go in to check. Why are you like... Uh... Wait, are you... Midnight? Yes. Interesting. So... Uh, I was. We got out of here! Pretty much us uh, is getting the hell out of Dodge while the. Mm, the one getting attacked really wants to thank Midnight. Saying how she probably wouldn't survive if she hadn't shown up. Yada yada yada. And then Midnight says, okay, thank you, but I have to go. Uh, I was really hoping to be able to beat someone up, but uh, at least I was able to help you. Wait! What? At least let me try to repay you. I'm off duty. It is very unnecessary. Please! Uh, why? J just why? Tell me why. It, it would feel right if I didn't, you, you know. Express my gratitude. Fine. So how do you plan on doing that? Easy. I can make you an outfit. You're... Wait, you're a seamstress? Yes! Hmm. I could use something very eye-catching for that asshole. Oh, you have you have someone in uh, whose attention you seek. Mm, yes, but I also like teasing him. So let's see what you got for me. Please, right this way, and I'll get your measurements. And yeah, that's pretty much how that scene ends. Next. Izuzuku pretty much scolding Eri for leaving his side, but also him wondering, wait, where's mom? Eri, she feels bad, but also talks about how maybe Oroka's right. At least when it comes to him taking on Oroka. Having more than one mom might not be a bad thing. We're still having uh, some very worrisome little memories of her first mother. And luckily for her, thanks to Izuku's very destructive quirk, she has learned how to control it to an extent. Not so much as giving certain someone their quirk back but at least enough so she's definitely not going to kill anyone by accident by unbirthing them and Izuku though he wants Eri to feel safe around Oraka and the rest this whole having a second mother talk is kind of it's kind of a red flag for him. Hey, okay, I see what she was trying to do now. I really need to be careful who I let you spend time with, don't I? The clerk is already very powerful. Though you've done training. That will not stop certain individuals from trying to for their own selfish desires. 
But this is when he gets an email from one known as All Might. Pretty much talking about, uh, we have a surprise for you kids. So on your next day of school, meet us after school. In which, yes, they introduced the dorms. And luckily, since everyone does know about Izuku being patrolled at midnight, Oraka is obviously trying to set some ground rules just in case there are any loopholes. Like, no staff member is allowed in a student's room after hours. All keys shall be held by a responsible adult. Not talking about midnight, but as Oracle's talking, she notices Izuku a little hmm, fidgety. And I also see that Eri is trying to console him, but also. Okay, what's wrong with you? Nothing. Don't you lie to me. Why, why is, why are you and our child, excuse me? Everyone looking at Oraga like, says when? Like, that's not, that's not important. As then Eri just runs out to Oraga and like, Mama got a new dress. Excuse me, what? Yeah, and for some reason, Dad can't stop staring. Really? Just look at midnight hurts. Like, mm, don't like the player at the game. Believe me, I know this game better than anyone. Araka, of course, she asked for details on this new uh, clothing item. It's just that the way Ari describes it. Izuku's obviously getting more and more fidgety and uncomfortable hearing how the dress is and then Eri uh, explains a certain feature. One, the dress has a material that is very, <laughs> and I do mean very durable yet self-repairing uh, what do you mean by that mmm I mean she can move around in it and run and everything in it but if it does get damaged it can fix itself well, excuse me what yeah it's incredible So what kind of damage are you expecting to happen, Midnight? <laughs> That's a secret. Her just walking up to Izuku with a loud wiggle in her walk and just hug him from behind. And as well as just showing his head. Oh fuck, that sounds <laughs> Is that, uh, what happened? Oraka just looking at midnight with all the fury of a thousand suns while Ares just innocent as all hell. Man, I was like, you lucky bastard. Do you know how many people would kill me in order to sit? Just, it's not fair. All the other guys are pretty much, eh, who cares, they're pretty much indifferent. While all the other female students are pretty much, shame on you, Midnight. And shame on you, Izuku. You should not be exposing Eri to such filth. Izuku trying to explain himself, like it's not his fault, but Eri, she just, mm -hmm. She's just a child. She doesn't understand what's going on. That's a good thing. But how much longer 
can she be ignorant? Ignorance is bliss, but too much of it can be disastrous. What she finds that you, the way you two show affection is normal. And then she gets to someone that she enjoys being with. What would you do if you saw her doing the things that Mary does to you to someone else? Whoever they are will die a thousand deaths. And I will send them to, straight to hell personally myself. Exactly. So, have you learned your lesson? What lesson? <sighs> I'm really kind of playing whether I should feel sorry for you or should I just deal with the problem here and now? Problem. <sighs> Either way, teachers should not be allowed within the student dormitories at night. Don't you agree, Ari? Um, you see, teachers have to work and they need their rest, so it wouldn't make any sense for them to be there under, you know, curfew. Right? You know how important curfews are, don't you, Harry? Uh, yes. Mom and Dad keep telling me that I should make sure I go to bed on time. Exactly. I Midnight, mean, she's already there. Okay. So this one really likes Midoriya. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh well. She's no real threat to me. Here she is, she'll be dealt with. In a way, the rules are set in place, and Izuku, though wanting to get closer to oh, Eri and uh, Midnight. Rules are rules. Everyone has agreed, especially Manetta. First night, Izuku is a bit. Um, yeah, he's used to having Midnight and or Eri next to him. So it's definitely so, uh, a certain aspect that he's missing. Which he just can't go to sleep. So what's he to do but tire himself out? Best way to do that is to train himself. Mainly using Black Whip to technically mimic Muscular's quirk. Enhancing himself to a point where he can handle a bit more one for all. But... As he does get a little tired, he does notice a knock on the door. Him wondering. Who is that? Opening it, he sees Oraka up in her swimsuit. Uh, uh, what's it going on? I want to see you. How did you get here? Why are you here? I told you I was here to see you. Why? I want to talk a little bit. That's all. Really? Yes. Is that so wrong? But you said no one is allowed. No, uh, no, 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 no. I did not. But you know, I said teachers aren't allowed in the student dormitories in students' rooms after curfew. I said nothing about the students themselves. Uh, you sly. <laughs> yeah. Now that midnight is not an issue, why don't we get to know each other a little better? 
And precisely what you mean by that? You know, your likes, dislikes, favorite heroes. Why you want to be a hero? Already, you already told us why you want, you want to be a hero. I know. Oh, so let's uh, just get a little closer. Uh, how how close are you? Or I could just jump in Kizuku and hug him very tightly. To the point where he wants to yell, but he also... I, this is not happening. Him using Black Whip to pretty much force a rock off of him. Her pretty much. Why are you doing this? I'm betrothed to someone. And? I don't want to cheat on my fiance? Is that so wrong? No, I guess not, but I am at least getting closer to convincing the right people. What? <laughs> uh, wait, oh no, yeah. Airy, what have you done? <laughs> what have you done to Airy? Nothing. Hey, just making her think that having more than one mom could be a good thing. You know, just in case one ends up being too busy to spend time with her and her dad. Wait, 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 So, yes, if anything, I could pick out the slack when Midnight is unable to. To a point where Midnight isn't needed anymore. But I, I, why, uh, why? Why? <sighs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you, it's like this right here. I like you, and I want you. We can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. The choice is yours. <laughs> wait, 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 What's this supposed to mean? What are you planning to do? Sounds to me like you're choosing the hard way. A rocket getting ever so closer to Izuku, but also Izuku, like, why am I scared? I know with one for all, I'm stronger than her. Definitely, her quirk isn't that powerful. Uh, why? Why? Why am I shaking? As yes, Araka, she touches Izuku and he starts floating. Him not having the enough sense at the moment to utilize Black Wave or overall. Yeah. Izuku can't move. Paralyzed with fear. As then, there's a knock on the door. Raka pretty much looking all sorts of menacingly as. Who is it? As is Eri. It's Eri. Izuku, he's thanking the gods of whoever made this situation possible. And Oraka, still in her swimsuit, is... <sighs> oh well. Maybe next time. I will tell people what you tried to do. You can try. But who's going to believe you? <gasps> hey. Is this everything alright, Dad? <laughs> Everything's fine. 
Very, it's, it's, ugh. <clears throat> it's fine. Ugh. Oh, holy. Oh, Lord, you Lord, your souls. How do you so to save me? Why, why was I so paralyzed? Why couldn't I move? Did I want that? Wait, no, 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 I'm not a... I'm not here. I wasn't there. I couldn't. Oh. Oh, oh. This is... Oh, help someone, please. Please, someone make this... Make this make sense to me. Oh. Damn it. That kid... Just had to show up. It's just getting to the good part, too. That was close. Uh huh? Oh. Right. Yeah, you're still looking after me, aren't you? Well, it's my job to make sure you don't go off script. Uh, <sighs> oh, come on, I've done this. How many times? I don't know. What's your body count now? Eh, I don't know. So many, many corpses. So little time. I stopped counting at their first two. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway. You need to keep a low profile. We told you how this girl acts, but you are showing your psychotic tendencies again. <sighs> look, just because I can look the part and I can act good enough to fool somebody does not make it easy. And besides, I really like this one. Well, your job is not to like him, it's to get him to trust you. I know. But one of the things for certain, this could take forever. Especially if we do this the way they told me to. Like, what's keeping me from just taking care of him right here now? That's not what he wants. <sighs> right. He still wants that damn quirk. I don't get it. He should have more than a power. What good is one quirk going to do? Well... Master is very greedy. You can relate to that, can't you, Toga? <sighs> Don't forget, I am not Himiko Toga. <laughs> right now, I'm a Chaco Horaka. Just make sure my blood bank doesn't run dry. <sighs> Very well. Here. And the mini fridge. Last thing I need is for this stuff to go rotten. <sighs> yeah, yeah. But remember, she's also not the best uh, when it comes to resources yeah she's poor I know I don't care I just need some way to keep this cold so I don't puke it once I take a sip I'll see what I can do but in the meantime just keep up with the facade yeah yeah so how's the other thing coming along Hmm? Oh, 
Yes, that's going along quite nicely. Good. The yeah, sooner we take them out, the better. Don't forget our deal. Of course, you get whatever's left of Izuku Midoriya whenever you, you complete your task. And once his quirk is taken, he won't be able to fight back against me. Oh, believe me, I know. Uh, I see it now. I'm just covered in bandages. Fresh. Off the cutting board. Uh, I just can't wait. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. It's just... Hey. You know nothing about love. I know crazy when I see it. Your opinion doesn't matter. Either way. What's, uh, what's next on the agenda? Have you uh, finished the project? Hmm. Yes and no. There's still some kinks to work out. Explain. Well, on one hand, yes, this seems to be a perfect copy of Midnight, but it takes too much uh, time, or at least too much damage. Remember, we still got to keep up the facade of it being a hero. It falls apart, and then we're back to the drawing board. But what about twice? Can he make them stronger? No, not really. If anything, it can only take so much damage. Uh, yeah, we do need a way to make it so... Hmm. Whatever. When will it be ready? Soon enough. We're going to look into a certain someone. Should be very... Hopeful. Whatever. Just let me know when it's done so I can at least... Enjoy the company of my new, my soon-to-be new husband. Yeah, the way you look at that boy is the same as when a prayer looks at their next prey after being starved for days. Yes, so. That just means you need to hurry up before I lose all sense of reason. If you do that, you know what's gonna... what? I'll die? Big whoop. People die every day. What's, it just means I neither of us get what we want. Oh no. The master will get what he wants. It'll just take a little bit longer. But you were died for nothing. <sighs> Whatever. Just make sure it's ready by time. <sighs> no, I just leave. Very well. As now, when it comes to the whole work study, Eri is safe. There are no quirk racing bullets being crafted, but Sir Nai still wants to test Izuku. The way he does this is the same way he would have done it in canon. The only thing is, he's very particular. 
and Izuku uses Black Whip to pretty much coat the room. So he wins. And yes, or not, I can't just disregard it. As yeah, Mirio would have been better. Even though he does still dislike Izuku for, you know, being the one that all my chose. Izuku being how he is, that no less chill person, less salmon roll version of himself, bow hardened, murderer, I mean <clears throat> vigilante. He's very particular like if you would have given Mirio this quirk, it would have been disastrous. How? Think of it like this. How much time did it take for him to master his quirk? Uh, what, what are you talking about? He has to hold his breath, correct? For him to truly utilize it, right? Y yeah, um, uh, why? Imagine you holding your breath, you having to train to hold your breath for extended periods of time or else you could end up being stuck in a wall, floor, wherever. You had, it's like you're swimming on concrete and think of it like this, what if his breathing stops while he's sleeping and by the time he does catch his breath again oh oh wow yeah giving him a frog would have been torture for him it would have been one of the worst things you could have done to a person I I have never considered that oh I bet you didn't yeah but how, how did you come up with that? I'm a quirk nerd. Heck, I was born quirkless, having to literally be bullied by someone I thought was my friend. And I was lucky enough to be chosen by the number one hero. He trained me to the best of his ability to the point where I can at least utilize his power better. But it took someone else, someone very special, to truly help me bring out the best of this quirk. Oh, yes. I have heard about your engagement. Wait, what? Oh, yes. Yes. I know about that. Well, I... Seriously? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't worry, I don't really give a damn, but... Yeah, congratulations, I suppose. I... I... Did you... <sighs> okay. So... Uh... Question... What are we going to do for this work study? Well, the plan was for, uh, you know, the Yakuza to be taken down and find out where the court racing bullets was coming from. But thanks to you and your little honey, that plan has gone down the toilet. It is unnecessary. Oh, you mean with overhaul and air? Yes. And though we have tried to talk to her and ask her of things that happened as well as, you know, get a full grasp of how close he was for the quirk of reducing bullets to be permanent, permanent. <sighs> yeah, she refuses to talk to us. This is one of you. Oh. Huh. Okay, so you need me. I need one of you, not both of you. But right now you're 
at least the one at my disposal at the moment. So, I suppose you'll do. Hmm. Yes. Either way, let's just get this whole thing over with. The sooner, the better, and I can just relax. Yeah. No, seriously, that licensing exam was a killer. What? Oh, yeah. I mean, one of my classmates was being uncharacteristically clingy. And getting a flashback to what happened that one fateful night. Very aggressive. Are you alright? You seem spooked. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> it's just, uh, a lot's happened. Okay. Uh, either way, let's, yeah, let's get this whole thing over with, shall we? Thank you. So much. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Is yes, the whole worst day thing. We go still have to worry about getting shot with a quirk versus bullet, so he keeps his quirk. Because Chiski, he's already been dealt with. Now that I is slowly seeing how worthy Izuku truly was. So, yeah, all in all, it is pretty much a cakewalk for Izuku. No real issues besides. Oraka being hella thirsty all of a sudden. Hmm. I really do wonder how far this rabbit hole goes. Um, what are you talking about? Ah, uh, nothing, Mirio. I am quite curious. Uh, mind telling me of what? This is Zuku boy. He seems to be rather adept at using more than one quirk. It's quite astonishing. Uh, yeah. If anything, he's, uh, he's already trained a lot. Yeah, you could say that again, but something's off about him. What do you mean? I tried to see into the, his future, but I couldn't. What? Yeah, it's weird. I. It's almost like he knew what was coming. Hmm. Wait! He unlocked the uh, Black Whip, and then he did end up utilizing Flow, didn't he? Yeah. You're right. Do you think he unlocked another quirk? That is certainly a possibility, but... Huh. Good thinking, Muriel. Uh... uh Thank you, uh, sir. But, uh, huh. Seriously, how many quirks is he going to unlock? I don't know. Hmm. Might need to keep an eye on him, just to see how he progresses.